Hey guys, today I'm building a waterfront family home. Um, I really, I looked and looked, I usually take inspiration from pictures that I find online or houses that I've seen somewhere before. I looked and looked and looked and could not find anything I like, so I just came up with this idea in my head and ran with it. I mean, not the idea of it being on water, of course it's not my idea, but as far as the floor plan goes, um, yeah, it was all me, so I don't know if it makes sense, but we'll see. Um, I'm going, what I did was uh, use the terrain tool and built a small lake, and now I'm building a bridge so my sims can actually get to the house that will be on that hill. Um, this is really simple. You just draw a room connecting um, the two pieces of land and you can add the base game a foundation that looks like stilts um, to really make it look like a bridge. I just put some rails on it and you're going to have to put stairs where your sims if they can't walk. See, Here on one side I did put stairs but on the other side I didn't have to because the elevation wasn't high enough to affect where my sims could walk. So yeah, it's pretty simple to build a bridge like that. If you want a better tutorial, you can check out Simtastic Gamer. Um, she did a tutorial recently on her YouTube channel, and it will teach you exactly how to do that bridge. I played around with the roof types. Um, I don't I feel like it looks anything like this now, so you'll have to bear with me while I... Um, and decisively change these roof pieces a thousand times. Um, if I could do one thing the first time and stick with it on the sounds, that would that would truly make my day. <laughs> I feel like it is very rare to lay down a roof piece or a um, foundation, build a wall that stays the very first time you build it. Uh, there's just so many options of what you can do, so many ways things can look better. So yeah, I feel like a lot that goes into building is simply just figuring out what you like best and not really worrying about what other people think about it. I feel like it takes a lot longer to make up your mind when you're worrying about how other people will view your build. So just go with what you like, what makes you feel cozy, and yeah, just be happy with your own build. So instead of making a uh, roof here, I'm gonna add um, fencing. This is a fence from Base Game, and it's just, I mean, it's really short. You can see it highlighted green down there in the item bar. Um, it's a short fence. I've done this before. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen this, but um, it just makes a really nice uh, like roof for the outside pieces. So I added that over there. I'm going to add it again over here because I did decide to give them a pretty big porch so they could have a cooking area. And then the outside part off to the side that I just did is going to be like off of the master suite. There really wasn't a ton of landscaping that went into this just because the water area was so big. Um, I did add some rocks around it and added plants where they needed to be, I added some trees too. Um, so I think I'm just going to sit back and watch with you. Um, I'll see you on the inside.
So I had issues when I uh, tried to put a fence in this little area. Oh, by the way, I see the roof piece. It has no um, stone on it, but don't worry, I do feel that in. Um, anyways, I was having a really hard time putting a fence um, where I wanted it to go in this little area because of um, just a difference in heights and foundations between the bridge and the house. And honestly, I don't really know what's going on. So I just grabbed some um, debug bushes and kind of filled in my own uh, fence. So then I added all these rocks around here and I know they're all the same rock but I am going to use tool mud to push them down in the ground. So when you have just a little bit of that rock sticking up they do look different. And if you have tool or you're new to tool let me tell you that when you have a ton of items that you need to manipulate, if you hold Alt and click on each one, it will group them all together. So when you elevate them or rotate them, size them down, whatever you're doing, it will do them as a group instead of you going and individually pushing down or sizing down each object. I did a really neutral tone throughout this house, um, even the flowers, I think I just did a bunch of green and some white. Um, there was just a lot going on with the water that I didn't feel like the outside, I needed like a crazy amount of color in the landscaping. Um, so that's about all I did, I did add some rocks and then these lights to line the driveway and a minute ago I used for the bridge. Or, okay, I'm doing it now, <laughs> not a minute ago. Um, these lights are in debug from the new The Horse Ranch pack, and they're the cutest little string lights, so I just put those on the bridge to uh, light it up at night. So moving on to the inside, um, this house ended up having three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and... Um, it's kind of open concept, but I did um, implement a bunch of archways to kind of make each space feel like its own space. So uh, you'll see that in a minute though. I built this for a family of four, so I did a teenage boys room and then a uh, child uh, girls room. I feel like she's probably on the younger side of a child, like maybe she just moved into the child stage out of being a toddler. Either way, I really like how that room came out. So this is going to be the kitchen and the dining room, and I just did the same thing with an arch, or not an arch, but the, the columns and the spandrel. I went pretty dark in the kitchen, I did black. I don't typically do something this dark. I don't know why. I just felt really warm and cozy to me in this house. Um, I'm using all of the stove and the fridge. And I think like the um, oven hood is all from the Growing Together pack, I think. Yeah. I really like this set. I actually really liked that pack as a whole. It was really, really good. A bunch of good gameplay and items, so that's always a win. So as you probably noticed, there's a door in the dining room, and I just, there was just this little awkward space. So I made it into um, a pantry. I didn't uh, really show me decorating it. I didn't add a lot in there. I think I just added like a broom and some um, boxes. 
but it, it was basically just because there was this empty space I didn't know what to do with, so I added a little pantry, and I have gone into more detail with pantries in the past, like open shelves with just a bunch of stuff on them, but this one was a little bit smaller, and I think that would have made it feel a little bit crowded. So this is a little coffee area, um, and those boxes or those bags of groceries, they came from Debug, the food delivery service. Uh, I guess when they started doing that, they added those to Debug. Um, I don't think they spoil, so I think they can just be for cute decoration. I mean, or you can delete them if you move into the house. I really love these cutting boards. I try not to use them a lot, but they're, I don't know why, they're just so cute. So here is the space behind the awkward pantry space. I made this into like a little reading area. I added a couple of bookshelves. These are from the Book Nook kit, and they are so cute. The wood swatches come in several different colors, and you can even get the same wood swatch, but different colored books to really make, you know, it not look the same. I went um, kind of simple with the living room. I added open shelves on each side of this fireplace. And yes, I'm using this couch again from the book note kit because I, I'm, I am obsessed with this. The texture on this couch looks so comfortable to me. And the chairs do too. <laughs> so... Those are the shelves I added. They're just base game shelves. You can put them on the wall. Um, it's just another idea to do in your living room to f fill up empty space. Because there's a lot of clutter in this game. So what I did is I went into um, decorations and I just scrolled th through and pulled out everything that I might want to use. I found that a lot easier than placing like scrolling through the catalog and then placing an item when you see it I just go ahead and pull it all out because I feel like when you can see all the items there it gives you a better idea of what's going to fit where um I don't know I still get confused but this method seems to help me out So I'm sitting here watching this and I keep getting flashes of the ceiling and for anybody that is newer to The Sims, they just added a feature to where you could actually paint ceilings. So I did do that and you, I think you'll see like in the end shots that the ceiling is um, painted, but it adds so much to your rooms. They're not just like the plain gray ceilings anymore. So I don't know. If you're new to Sims, you should definitely check that out. Remember to paint your ceilings some color. I mean, I feel like normal people have white ceilings sometimes or most of the time. You know, I don't know. My ceiling's white. But I don't know. For some reason in the Sims, it looks really bad. So paint your ceilings, okay? And the horse print pack came out with a wood that is really, really nice for ceilings. So on the wall to the left, I did go into the gallery and get some paintings. You can type in um, whatever paintings you're looking for, maybe living room paintings, bathroom paintings, if you go to the gallery and type that in, um, it'll pull up a lot of wall art that is not considered CC, so um, I think actually how it's made is um, somebody will have custom content in their game and have their sim paint a reference 
a painting from that, and when they upload it to the gallery, it doesn't count as CC. So I, I think that's how it's made, I'm not sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's really neat, and those people that take the time to do that are awesome because there are some really beautiful pieces in there. And I know that The Sims gives us a lot, but you guys know there's sometimes just not quite enough. There's just something you're sometimes not looking for. The swatches can be a little bit off. So now I'm just adding a few little things to this uh, reading corner. I'm obsessed with these rocking chairs. We got rocking chairs too and growing together, but these wooden, the wooden <laughs> rocking chairs are so good. I love the little pillow that they put in there. I'm a sucker for blankets and pillows on the couches and chairs. That might be why I'm so obsessed with that couch. So here, um, these paintings came from the gallery. Um, I will try to mention the creator in the description in case any of you want to go get um, something from there. It really helps when you're just stuck and need something for the walls a bunch of really really cute stuff you do have to be careful because sometimes it can the gallery will still flag it as cc so when you're trying to upload a build it'll show that it's modded so if you are using those just be careful that can happen but most of the time they're fine so i was sitting here building this bathroom and my husband actually gave me this idea <laughs> he said why don't you make them separate and i was like i could do that so I ended up separating the toilet and the shower and it makes sense because this is going to be like a shared bathroom but also like a bathroom that you know guests may use too. So I guess it kind of makes sense that it's all separated. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to decorate this a little bit and then after this I think we move on to the team's room which I was pretty excited about because I don't usually do boy rooms. But, um, oh, <laughs> I added a retainer there. I think it just fit the storyline. You know, The Sims catalog is so big, and I feel like every now and then I come across something that is my absolute favorite, and I use it all the time, which would be those blondes right there that I just use in the bathroom. I use those all the time, and I, I just don't know if I've ever seen those before, or if they came in an update, if they've always been there. I do not know, but I love them, and they come in a bunch of really pretty colors, too. And it's just, it's crazy because they're base game. So I've always had them if they didn't come with an update. So, I don't know. It's just crazy how big the catalog is and how you can, like there's things in there I've never seen before. I can guarantee it. <laughs> and I skim that thing all the time. So I played around with some colors in here. And then I ended up going all black, and I was like, I was like, he's just a moody teen. And I was like, why does he have to be a moody teen? So 
I changed the colors <laughs> a little bit brighter to like some red and blue and browns. I don't know, I just didn't want him to be a moody teen, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm not placing those yet because I think I was eating when I picked those lights out, so I couldn't alt place them. So I just threw them on the wall, but I will go back and fix them. So as you can probably tell from the stuff in his room, um, he's like a gaming teen, but he also really likes sports. Um, so I gave him this a nice little setup, and uh, I did end up putting some more sports themed stuff in this room. Um, I don't think I, I put it in here, so you will see that at the end too. I wanted a mirror in here, and this one ended up being almost the perfect color, so I just slid it into the clothes rack, because I didn't put a closet in this room. But I feel like the messier look is just, I don't know, it looks, it just reminds me of a teenager. So yeah, I added some clothes to the floor over there too. Oh, and I had to put these sneakers, of course. So this is a little girl's room. I just did this really pale pink uh, wall with the white trim. I did give her a closet and I really like how the closet turned out. Oh, I found this backpack so I had to give it one to the teenager too. And I gave her this cute little, I think it's a dog one. So this is a really cool trick right here. This poster, I wanted to use it because I liked the color of it, but it blends in with the wall. So I took another picture with a frame and I'm using Tomod to size it up and to manipulate the pieces, but this can be done without mods. Um, see, I'm just, I'm putting it in, I'm making the frame for the picture to look like this poster had a frame originally. See that? And so it gives a wall in the, in the picture some separation. But um, you can do that with some items from base game too, so you don't, you don't have to have tool to get that look on certain objects. Um, I could make a tutorial about that if anyone wants. Um, it's really easy once you see it or see the pieces you need to use. So I just gave her a normal little closet. Um, I got her some clothes hanging in there, clothes basket. She's got some shoes. And I ended up doing the same two like clothing sets, but I turned them opposite ways. So it looked different from the front, but I, I didn't see where any other clothes looked, um, like, kiddish, I guess. Um, I don't know. I thought about putting a tent in here, but I went with the, uh, 
playhouse instead, actually. But I've been wanting to build like a playroom, just like this massive, crazy big playroom. So I think I might do that in my next build. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we'll see. So I also gave the little girl her own little reading corner. I don't, I don't know why I put so many reading corners or sitting corners in rooms. I don't know why I do that. Maybe it's just to fill space because I definitely don't have a reading corner at my own house. <laughs> but all of my Sims do. I don't ever use wall decals either, but this tree was super cute to me. So I threw that on there as well. Oh, and look at this little lamp. Wait. There it is. It's got a little fox wrapped around the bottom of it. And it's base game. It's so, so cute. And it matches the um, comforter on the bed. It's the same print or the same design. So, there's a bunch of swatches like that for um, kids. And I guess we got that in the update when Growing Together came out, and the bed is from Growing Together, so I guess that's why they match. But the lamp is base game. So this is the master bathroom and I, what I'm about to do with the bathtub area is super, super, super simple. So you, what you're going to do is draw a wall, you're going to take a half wall and you're going to put it in front of the bathtub. I think it's the second height um, or maybe the third, but you're going to box a bathtub then like this and then you're going to raise the platform to where it looks like the bathtub is sitting in the box um, and it's fully functional but it just kind of looks like your bathtub is built in it's really cute and I just added that tray right there um, it snaps to walls so I just drew a, a wall in the middle of the bathtub you will have to have bb.move objects on to do any of this but um yeah, it snaps onto wall, so I drew a wall in the middle, I put the shelf where I wanted to, and then just deleted the um, wall. And um, so this is what I'm talking about, raising the platforms. I did it to the right of the bathtub, and then right in front of the bathtub, um, I drew the same height half wall right there, and your sim can get in. It's fully functional. I did not put that on video because I don't know if it's frowned upon to post a video of a sim. Um, bathing, uh, even if there's blurs, I'm just not clear on it, so I didn't do it. But um, this can be done completely base game and super cute. I just put out a tutorial on that on, um, and made a short out of it. So if you want to check that out, um, it can be, like I said, completely base game, fully functional, super cute way to step up your bathroom. And I did a walk in shower. I usually do walk-in showers. I don't know why, I feel like they just look a little bit nicer than the showers that we get. Um, and I only really do it if I don't have enough room. Or if I have a little bit too much room, like if I need to take up some more space. Um, other than that, you know, I'm most likely just going to use a shower from the game. And you can do this with, um, this shower is from Snowy Escape. But they have another shower from university too that you can do this method with. 
So I'm just going to use the same um, cabinets and mirror from the other bathroom and throw some decorations on there. I went super, super neutral in the parents' bedroom. I tend to do this a lot. Well, I mean, I don't know. I've been putting some more colors in there. But I feel like a neutral bedroom is just so pretty. The light colors. I love the sunlight coming in. I don't know what it is, but this room is really pretty, in my opinion. So I'm building a closet over here, just checking to make sure the door wasn't oh, clipping into the cabinet on the other side. But I just, um, I think I just put an arch in here as well. I don't know if it's weird that the boys' room is the only one that doesn't have a closet. Maybe they had to make the closet part of his room because it was too small. So that's why he has the clothes work. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. We can make up a story for that, though. And the same thing with the parents. I just gave them a normal closet, a hung some clothes up for them, added a clothes basket. And you will see that I use these two baskets that you can see in the catalog picture at the bottom right now. I use those more than anything else. And the reason you don't see me using any other baskets is because if you put in a different type of clothes basket, your sims clothes will automatically the game automatically assumes you have a washing machine you know if it's a basket from the laundry day pack so um if i built a house and put a basket from the laundry day pack but no laundry room there would just be smelly clothes everywhere nobody wants that so um i don't usually build laundry rooms but they are super super cute maybe i'll have to do that soon I went really simple out here on this deck. I just wanted it to be a space like that the Sims could go relax. So I just added some lounging chairs and then some rocking chairs. So they could go hang out at night. I added some string lights and one of my favorite things to do with when I do the fences at the top is add some greenery up there to look like it's growing. So I did the same thing over here. which I actually had to take off and then do this area and then put the green um, the green stuff back on because I could not see anything. So I just made this like a little outdoor eating area. Um, but yeah, I just, I didn't go too crazy because of all of the water. There was just not a ton of space to do much with. And I, I think it's, simple the outside and I like it. Well I don't know if simple's the word but <laughs> I did add a swing set for the little girl um and added some more bushes and I did go back I cannot remember if I videoed this or if it was a last minute thing that I thought of but I did go add some trees too. Sometimes when I'm like at the end of building a house and recording, I will just be running around doing like a few last minute touch ups and I'll forget to video any of it. But I think it's kind of like a surprise at the end, right? I don't know. 
But I went and added some dirt, some terrain paint all throughout here. If you don't do this, you, sh you should do this because your builds will look a lot more realistic if you just mess with the terrain a little bit instead of it leaving it exactly how it came with your lot. I'm just adding some more bushes around here where I feel like it needs it. And don't worry, I do fix the foundation right here. I know it does not match the rest, but I do fix that. I promise. And yeah, I'm just going to go add a little bit of this around the back of the house too. And I, I promise I fixed all that foundation. <laughs> and this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you have any questions about how I did something, please let me know in the comments. I would love to chat with y'all. Happy to answer any questions. Um, yeah. So I will see you next time. Bye.